Shipping is one of the main ways that marine species move around the globe. My name is Mark Torchin. I'm a marine ecologist at the Smithsonian Tropical Research Institute in Panama. I'm interested in looking at the role of parasites in marine and estuarine ecosystems. My work focuses on mangrove, rocky shore ecosystems like we're sitting in here today, as well as in the, the Panama Canal, which is here behind us. Ships move species around, and what I try to understand is what impacts that has on how parasites get moved around and what implications that has for those species that are introduced. Much of what I do is measure the distribution and abundance of animals, take some of those animals back to the laboratory for analysis, and try to figure out what parasites they're infected with and what diseases they might have. One of the key discoveries that we made is that introduced species actually escape more parasites than they bring with them when they're introduced. Humans and goods are moving around the world at unprecedented rates, and one unintended consequence of that is the movement of species through shipping and other means. If species are getting moved around, their parasites might also get moved around. What we're finding is, yes, in fact, the parasites do get moved around, but more often than not, species move around without their parasites. I grew up in Santa Monica, California, and I was always poking around in um, tide pools, looking under rocks. Eventually, when I became old enough, I started snorkeling and scuba diving and surfing and spent my life around the, the ocean and the seashore. And part of that was just looking around and making observations and looking for patterns, even though I didn't really know it at, at, at the time. I moved down to Panama because it's a really interesting place to be a marine biologist. You have two oceans, the Pacific and the Atlantic, within a one-hour drive. There have been multiple interesting um, moments in my career. Some examples include going out to the shoreline and coming back to the lab with an animal and finding a new parasite, something that I haven't seen before. And just sort of the day-to-day -day, um, thrills of going out in the field are, are something that I, I look forward to. It's a, a great, great place to be.